But all right, all right, this is very important, though. This is very important. People, people don't really know how to defend themselves properly, and this is just an option um, for defense. Um, like I said earlier, you have you have multiple doors that you could go into on layers of defense, on different options for defense. And within each door, there's just layers of options that's going to be there that you could that you have to think about. Um, so the first one that I want to show you guys, okay, let's start from the top. I think it was this one. Yeah. Okay. So well, not this one. It's this one. So most most offens usually will begin looking like that. When you see somebody get in, bam, bam, bam. This is just an example of what cami players are probably going to do. But everybody else has their own thing, like Ken players would do something like that, you know? The first time that they get in. So, um, the, this sequence right here, the way that you can defend yourself from this is... A lot of people just hold block. A lot of people just hold block in this situation. But the, what you want to do is you want to take a tiny step back and block low. Just like that. That's what your character should be doing in those situations. Anytime that you're blocking from your opponent. So, bam, block back low, block back low. And then again, bam, block back low, block back low. You get pushed a little further. Bam, block back low, block back low. I didn't do it properly that time. Bam, block back low, block back low. Alright, now you're out of there right or and you get out of there once somebody presses that second button more than likely you'll have some sort of escape whether it's back dash or walk back low you know but you want to make sure that you time it right okay now if somebody commits to doing a frame trap like this where they're not walking up at you keyword walking up at you they are not walking up at you and they just go directly into button into button into button after the second button nine times out of ten they're going to be too far for a throw you know they're going to be way too far for a throw so you don't really have a throw to fear you don't have to even tech because they're too far to throw you so let's show that so if somebody jumps and they do that. Yeah, always. Too far to throw. So why, why try to shit? Like why try to take the throw in this situation? You know, there's no, there's no need to, because you're too far away. So, you know, you walk back. You got, you get out of that. Okay, now because they're too far away. Because they're too far away for the throw, what they're going to be doing is something that looks like this. If they see you block the first time, they're more than likely going to go into something like this, where they're walking up at you, walking up at you, pressing a button, walking up at you, pressing a button, press a button, press a button, press a button, press a button. again, walk up at you, press a button, press a button. Something, that, something to make you tech, something like... Watch, let me time that a little better. Bam. You see that happen a lot, you know? Like, bam, counter hit, counter hit combo, bam. Lose the round. Oops. That, that timing should not have worked for me. And that counter hit. You see that counter hit? That's, what, that's why they do it. And that's... You see? Bam. Eventually they get the guy. Because the guy is trying to tech the throw because he thinks that he's going to... The cami player is going to throw... But he actually gets bodied for it. So, oh shit, he's too close. You know, the natural human reaction of just like, oh, somebody's, somebody's in, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the throw. And then you get baited. And you get punished for it. And then other times as well, as people don't really know when to press a button. And then they just get hit, counter hit, for trying to interrupt with a button. Like that. So, the reason why you're getting counter hit, and the reason why... Um... You don't really know exactly what to do in this situation. I don't know if anybody's ever even like talked about this before, but 
When your opponent presses a button, they're plus, but once they walk forward, that plus is no longer there, like they're no longer plus. So this actually just leaves you able to immediately hit, the, hit them out of that walk. You could, you know, instantly. You don't have to respect it. The only problem is that if somebody does this and you try to interrupt immediately after one button, bam, counter hit, and you <laughs> end up losing. Okay, so now that we've established that, I want to show this again. So your opponent is walking up between pressing a button, right? Ken players, we do this a lot against Kami. But notice that whenever you watch any Ken player play against the Kami, like a top player Ken, um, it's not the first time, like it's not the first time that the Kami player gets in that the Ken player just busts out the back strong pierce. Ken players are always waiting in this situation. And this is what you should be doing as well against Kami or any other character that's walking up at you. So if somebody gets in on you, you are paying attention to offensive pattern, offensive pattern, offensive pattern, offensive pattern. What exactly is my opponent pressing? Pressing? When is he pressing it? How fast is he pressing it? All of that. All of that's just going into your head. At what distance is he at that he's pressing the button? Those are all going through your head as soon as you're blocking the first time that your opponent go gets in on you. This gives you the tell. This gives you the download, the defensive download of what your, op what your opponent is doing offensively. And when you have the defensive download on what your opponent is doing offensively, it allows for the third time that your opponent, to, when, your th uh, when your opponent gets in on you the third time, you're ready for the bam, 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 bam. Not just as Ken, but with anybody. Like, stop it. You did this to me two times in a row, but because you're on autopilot offense mode, you're not paying attention to the fact that I'm paying attention to what you're doing. You're not paying attention to your offensive errors while I'm paying attention to them. You get, you're showing me your gaps. That's a gap. Okay, I got it. You like to walk forward. But if I have somebody that does this a lot, if I have somebody that does this a lot, like, anytime that he's in, he's just pre Sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. Let's, let's record that one more time. Any time that he's in, there's no type of walk up after his first button press. There's no need for me to be scared. I actually like people that do this more than they do the walk up because this is this isn't scary. Like, okay, cool, you got in. You're too far away for anything now. And and I thought that as soon as I blocked the second hit, you're too far away. You're too far away for a throw. I don't need to really worry about anything. I'm just walking back out of that pressure that you tried to have. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, cool. And again, it could be different for any character offensively. Bam. All right, so you're not really doing anything to continue your pressure. You're just pressing buttons. All right, that's fine. I'm, I don't mind blocking because you're not going to throw me after the second button. You could try walking up, but even if you walk up after that second button press, you're far away and you, you're, you need to walk up a little bit more. So let's show that again. See? You see how much further she is from me because I'm, I'm holding... Uh, back low, back low, back low, back low. Back low, back, back low, back. I'm out of there, you know? It gives you a little bit of time to say, oh, she's she's still pressuring me. I mean, it's she's fucking insanely fast. That's why she's really good. But it at least gives you a chance. Sorry. It at least gives you a chance to see, oh, what is it that she's doing, you know? Oh, okay. All right. So if your opponent has a pressure like this... Is really not much for you to fear right here. They just press their buttons. And an example of Ken doing that would be something like this. Oops. Yeah, that would be like the equivalent of what you just saw Kami do stand strong, crouch strong, low forward. Ken players would, you know, something like that. That's our version of it, or the. The. Sorry, I'm playing on pad right now. You know? Bam. Fucking hell. That one right there. Bam, bam, bam. That's, that's the Ken player version of it. But notice that Ken players are much more scary when they do this. You know, they're mixing up their options. So, 
your opponent should be mixing up his options. And if your opponent is not mixing up his options on offense, that makes your defensive reads much more successful and comfortable. Okay, so what you need to do is this is what you're this is what's going on inside of your mind this is uh what's going this is what's going on inside of your mind when you are blocking somebody who is walking or just blocking against somebody you need to pay attention to does he walk forward he does does he walk forward he does does he walk forward he does okay what are you doing walk forward what are you doing walk forward what are you doing walk forward okay got you now i know how you play now i know that you want to open me up like that so i'm going to interrupt at this time and I'm just using back strong as an example with Ken. Of course, if you have a three frame instant, stop. You know, stop it. This, Ken has a four frame, but if you have a three frame, bam, you could just body them for doing that. Because it's harder on the Kami player to time his walk up uh, medium punch if you have a three frame. Whereas I have a five frame, so I have to be more precise with my punish. I mean, I have a four frame as well, but this is just a really good punish for Kami players trying to walk up. That makes them very scared to continue doing that. Um, okay. So yeah, you pay, you figure out when to interrupt your opponent's offensive buttons, his offensive pressure, when you get a download on his offensive pressure. And how do you get a download on his offensive pressure? Well, you have to just block. You have to get the, you have to be patient on defense to see what exactly is he doing okay he's doing that now let's mix it up now if we mix it up let's see what happens okay let's turn this on let's turn this on let's turn this on which one is he going to do i don't even know because i don't have the number displaying so i have to be ready oh i know which which one that one is but you know oh okay he might oh they always jump off you know yeah but see this is what usually happens is that like you don't really know what what your opponent is doing so why are you pressing buttons if you don't know which thing he's gonna do you know you have no idea with what your opponent is gonna use to advance towards you so you have to start off by blocking first blocking first blocking first okay this is what he this is what he likes to do eventually your opponent or if he's a scrub your opponent is going to show that he's not really mixing up his offensive patterns which is very basic either he's doing this Either your opponent is doing this whenever they get in, or your opponent is doing this whenever they get in. And notice that this is more likely to happen when you are just blocking. When you are just willing to take the throw. Go ahead, throw me. There's nothing... I don't need to press a button. You know, you, you don't need to press a button. Go ahead, throw me. But see, if he's like, damn, I'm not able to get a counter hit on him. I'm not able to get a counter hit on him. Well, yeah, try that again on me, motherfucker. Bam! Out of bing. That's how you hit him out of that. Only when you are 100% committed, 100% knowing that he's going to do this. I have the feeling, I know that he's going to do this. He just repeated this pattern the, the previous two times or the previous time, whatever. I know he's going to do it. That's when you press your button. That's when you challenge on defense. You don't ever want to challenge on defense just to challenge. You want to challenge on defense because you had a defensive read. This is the only way that your opponent is going to get mind fucked. That, oh my God, he knew exactly what I was going to press and when I was going to press it. When you watch top players play, whenever they made a mistake or the opponent gets in on them. Oh shit, my bad. Whenever whenever the opponent gets in on them, they're just they're just blocking. You know why? Because they're going to take the throw. But also they're paying attention to your offensive pattern because if I press a button early on and I don't really know what exactly your offensive patterns are, I might get crush countered. I might lose the round this way. Better for me even though you're you're pressuring me and I fucked up. Better for me to Can I eat your subway? No. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. Um better for me to just block and to think about what it is that you're doing on offense. That's the only way uh that you could fight that situation.